today, I'm going back in time on the internet. Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the world. So today I thought it would be a good idea to use a website that lets you see billions and billions of web pages that were have been saved over time. And to do this, I'm using a website called the Wayback Machine. It's pretty much the internet archive. Any website that has been used over the past 20 some years, it probably will show up on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this out using Apple's website to see how they've changed over the years. And this will make a lot more sense if you continue watching the video. So without further ado, let's travel back in time. So like I said, we're using the system called the Wayback Machine. If you want to use this for yourself, I will put a link in the description or you can just type out web.archive.org. Pretty much it saves it saves a certain any website's page that has been used over time. So for example, I used I'm using Apple's website today, Apple.com, and we're just going to see how this works. So we're going to go back to the furthest date, the furthest date that has been saved, and that is 1997. And the oldest date that is saved here is April 4th, 1997, and we're just gonna pick, we're just going to pick one. We're just going to pick a screenshot, a snapshot. It says there's eight, but there's a, whoa! Oh my gosh. This is Apple's website from, from 1997. And I'm not joking, April 4th, 1997. This is absolutely insane. Look at this. Look at this, this is crazy. This was Apple's website back in 1997. Let's see if any of it'll work. Let's see, how about product information? Product information, will it work? I'm Oh, it says up here, not, item not available. So even if I try to, oh, yeah. Okay, so it doesn't work. So it pretty much just shows the the first web page of the Apple website. But that's crazy, though. World's fastest home computer. The Power Macintosh 6500 speeds of 300 megahertz. That was the fastest back in 1997, which is crazy. So, okay, so we're gonna just going to go back. And we're going to find, we're going to go to 1999, and we're going to see how much it's changed. Okay, so the furthest date in 1999 is February 8th, 1999. So we're just going to click here, and we're just going to see what it looks like. If it'll let me. Apple's website in 1999. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. From February 8th, 1999. Okay, so there's not much. I'm pretty sure that there's supposed to be pictures here. I would imagine that there's supposed to be pictures. But, man, Apple has really changed over the past 20 years. Literally 20 years. So... I don't think it'll let me do anything else. I don't think so. So we're just gonna go back and we're gonna jump into 2002. Cause why not? We're gonna jump into, actually no, let's jump into 2001. Cause 2001 was the introduction of the iPod, the very first iPod. So I, I'm curious, I don't remember when the iPod was announced or introduced. I just clicked on May 17th, 2001. Maybe that'll do something. Oh my gosh, look at this, look at this website. Oh my gosh, the new iBook. Okay, okay, so the app, the iPod was not announced yet. 
May 17, 2001, the iPod was not announced yet. But oh my gosh, everything looks so different. There wasn't even a, there weren't, there wasn't even a Mac, like, sub menu. Or I think, I, I think I'm using that correctly. Okay, how about we just go further into 2001? 2001, like, uh, all right, no, that's 2020. We're gonna go back to, how about, um, October? October? Anything in October? Anything having to do with the iPod? Anything having to do with the iPod? It was announced in 2001. No, shh. Oh, wait, hold on. Store. Let's see. Oh, oh. Oh wait, hold on. It's redirecting me. It's redirecting me. Hold on. It's doing something. Oh my god, is it working? It's working! Oh my gosh! Okay, so this is the actual store. IMAX, the Power Mac G4, the Power Book G4, and the iBook. So the MacBook wasn't even a thing. It was just Power Books and iBooks. But there, the iPod has not been announced yet, so we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go later in 2001. Because I know the Apple, how about November? We'll go to November. Because November is very popular. Anything, Any, okay, yep, iPod. We have an iPod. We're in November 15th, 2001. I'm going to click that, see if it does anything. The iPod, the very first iPod. Look at that. Ultra slim, 5 gigabyte hard, hard drive. Firewire. Headphones. 1,000 songs in your pocket. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, how... How thick was it? 0.78 inches thin, I guess. Wow, this is crazy. Okay, so there's a lot more here. A lot more here. I might cover this in another video. But I'm just going to jump into 2007 because 2007 was the announcement. I think it was January 10th, 2007. The iPhone was announced. Steve Jobs was at... Steve Jobs announced it at Macworld 2007. And I'm pretty sure it was January 10th, 2007 that the iPhone was announced. Yep. Yep, the iPhone. iPhone, app, Apple reinvents the phone. Yep, Macworld. I think, I think if you go a day before, if you go, the, if you go a day before, it won't, it won't show anything about the iPhone. I'm pretty positive. Yep, I was right. So, yeah, 30, first 30 years were just the beginning. Welcome to 2007, the new MacBook, the new iPod Shuffle, MacBook Pro, and, a, and the first of its kind product, Red iPod Nano. So yeah, if you literally the next day, the iPhone was announced. 2007, January 2007, it was released on June 29th? I'm going to say June 29th, 2007. It's either June 26th or June 29th. But it was in 2007 that the iPhone was uh, was released. So I just want to see if it works. If I click on iPhone. And I'm just letting you know, I'm holding this camera in a very uncomfortable position. I'm just holding it in a way where I can use my right hand. I can use my right hand to control the mouse and my left hand to hold the camera. Okay, so introducing iPhone. I'm just gonna hold this here for a second. If you wanna read this, that's fine. I'm just gonna give you a couple seconds. Okay, so let's see, it was a... So Steve Jobs announced this as a widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary new phone and a breakthrough internet communicator. So literally nothing else. This was what the iPhone was like back in 2007. And I'm using an iPhone 11 here in 2020, which is absolutely crazy. Okay, so now we're going to jump to 2010 
because in 2010, another revolutionary new pro revolutionary new product was introduced in 2010, the invention of the first multi-touch tablet, the iPad. I'm not entirely sure when it was announced. Oh, here it is. Oh, oh, right on here. iPad is here. So I just wanna see, will it do anything? So people when the, people when the i when the iPad was released, people were calling it like a bigger version of an iPod because an iPod is similar was similar to an iPad with no cameras, no cameras, no nothing. It was literally just a touch screen and that was it. Touch screen and a dock connector. That was it. So anyway, um, if you want to read any of this stuff, pause the video and read it. Otherwise, we're just gonna scroll down. So yeah, iPad. That was only five, it was, I'm not gonna say only, it was $500 when it was released. It was starting at $500, and I wanna see what the storage configurations were. So, oh, because I'm I'm almost positive that they were very low, because it was, it was iPad. It wasn't, it didn't, ex oh my gosh, look at it. 1632 or 64 gigs a 16 gigabyte ipad imagine using a 16 gigabyte ipad today five hundred dollars for a 16 gigabyte ipad at 629 if you want one one with three with cellular absolutely insane five hundred dollars the cheapest ipad you can get today is Maybe three twenty nine. No, I'm right. Three twenty nine is the cheapest you can get an iPad for. But that's crazy. Five hundred dollars, and it came in sixteen thirty two or sixty four gigs. Those are storage configurations for an iPhone <laughs> for back in like two thousand twelve. That's crazy. Just, I think this is all absolutely crazy you can go back and see the websites of the past how they looked and how they how they looked before and how they look today because if you go to 2020 apple's website is so much different like if you go I'm just gonna go to a couple days ago I'm gonna go to a couple days ago i'm pretty sure it's unchanged but going to a couple days ago, back, and just coming back from 2010, like looking at Apple's website today is pretty crazy. I mean, it looks so much cleaner. You know what I mean? It doesn't look so clunky. It doesn't look so clunky. I think it had to do with, because during Steve Jobs' time, everything was so skewed skeuomorphic. I think that's how you say it. But now everything is just so clean. I mean, their best-selling product is still the Mac, but they still have the iPad, the iPhone, the introduction of the Apple Watch and TV. But I think this is all pretty crazy. <laughs> I know I'm saying this a lot, but I, I really do feel like where we came from and where we are today. And I, I know I'm going to say it again, but this is just insane to look at to go back to where we came from 1997 the oldest date actually no it wasn't the oldest date 1996 going back to 1996 and going to today and using this incredible internet archive the way back machine and if you want to use this website and i highly recommend it if you in if you are into nostalgia as much as i am it's very simple. Go to web.archive.org or you can click the link in the description so you can go and check it out. So this is just one example of how the Wayback Machine works. If you want me to make more episodes, if you want me to make more videos involving the Wayback Machine, and if you want me to use a website, don't, don't suggest any websites that I know I'm not going to like. But if you want me to use 
another website for the Wayback Machine, let me know because I'd be happy to use it. But anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to slap a like on this video. Also subscribe and punch the bell because I make new videos all the time. Um, I think by at the time of this video coming out, I believe it'll come out on Wednesday. So if it came out today, yay. If, it's that, if it came out today on Wednesday, hey, that's great. If it didn't, then it'll probably come out on Thursday. But I'm hoping to make another vlog because I'm going up to the lake tomorrow. To, but that probably won't be up until Friday because I have to come back here and edit it. So that vlog won't be, won't be out until Friday. But another video I really want to make is going deep into WikiHow. So... Just stay tuned for that. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to slap a like on it and subscribe and punch the bell. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.